Hello everybody, it is Saturday. Now I'm at my usual dive bar working hard. And of course, as promised, you saw me start it last week. This is the first full weekend working on it. And this is the Lost Pages fan art piece for the Diaz brothers. And uh, I'm hard at work at it. I've got the hobo here sitting in the corner and I'm gonna have a uh, fire drum right here. But he's reading the lost pages. I got pages coming out of it. They go up here, 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 and then over to here. Down, and we have the image of them fighting in the pages. So, and we've got the black, this is the back of the building here. And so, you can see what I did was while I was working. Oh, before we go any further, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. It always helps. And here's where I really need you guys to uh, uh, comment is you can see what I was doing is like to uh, entertain myself and entertain you guys while I was doing the time lapse videos of just doing the, the black areas. I was doing faces and skulls okay now I can black I was the, I mean I, the, only, the intention is to black it so it's all straight black but if you guys think these skulls and and stuff look really really cool uh, let me know in the comments and then what I'll do is uh, let me go down here and show you this one right here okay what I can do is instead of blocking it out what I can do is I can go in here and really lightly stipple this. Let me flip it over. And by stippling it really lightly like this, you'll see that when I'm done, it's not as predominant because it's not as stark black and white because there's a gray tone. It gets pushed back. So it comes down to should I continue this where I'm just arbitrarily uh, letting the dots decide where the skulls are and everything, or should I just black it out completely? So you guys can see right now, okay? You can see right now how the skull is there, but it's not as predominant. Should I do that for the rest of the skulls? Now, along this side here, you can see I've got the straight black. This is where the building is. And over here would be like the edge of the building where someone could be spray painting. Uh, this is graffiti. So it comes down to uh, what do you guys think? Should I keep all these skulls and such there or not? So uh, give me a comment in the, put a, give me a comment. Let me know. Uh, share it out and let others know and tell me and ask them, hey, should the skull stay or should I just black it all out? So, and uh, Diaz brothers are hard at work with this book and uh, they do a stream on Mondays and called the Hardline and then they also have their uh, Friday show and they're always talking about the uh, story and what they're doing with the story and uh, production of the book to get the book out there so another big uh, announcement is uh, fun by comic is launching bronze star by Mike Barron and by Pat Brodick today at noon by the time you guys watch or watching this video it will be live so uh, i will be uh, wanting to post the video with the link so i'm going to have a link to the campaign in the description so that way you can use that link to get to the site to back the book i would advise everybody who uh to get it even if you're not a fan of westerns to back the book uh, when Mike Barron says that Pat Broddick is doing the best work of his life, he is not kidding. 
Uh, I've been following Pat Roderick for years. In fact, the very first comic book I ever got signed was Captain Adam, number one, and Doom 2099, number one, both signed by Pat Broder. So uh, I have an extensive signed comic book collection. And those guys are the one, and, and Pat Broder is the one who started it. So uh, I've been following him, and I agree. He is producing excellent work from what I've seen of Bronze Star, and I would definitely be one to encourage, and I'm a huge advocate for uh, this campaign to do well. It's also a big boon for Fund My Comic. Fund My Comic is a new crowdfunding site geared because, and, it's, and it came from uh, all of these other crowdfunding sites uh, going in uh, like Indiegogo, shadow banning campaigns, and Kickstarter outright pulling these campaigns straight off their platform. And that's where uh, Fund My Comic came into existence was the means to give these creators who are getting banned to give them a platform to get their books funded. Uh, I anticipate many more books are going to be on Fund My Comic moving forward into the future. But that doesn't mean that they shouldn't say no to have it on Indiegogo or or it's on Kickstarter. Has Mike had bad experiences with Kickstarter in the past? Yes. But that doesn't mean he should give up. Because uh, think about it, as Mike Barron puts it, uh, if you ban me, I will simply monetize you banning me to make even more money. Which is what drives, the, which, and which, and so in some ways, you almost anticipate and hope that if you get put on Kickstarter, that you get banned or they de deplatform your campaign because that gives you the ability to uh, make money off of it. And it's basically, you use it as a uh, motivation tool to do better. So, and I hope that everybody will check that out more to fund my comic. So, uh, Billy Tucci also launched his uh, second omnibus to, uh, this week. He did it on Wednesday. Uh, I backed it on the very first day. I was actually backer number 198. So it, it got funded. It's actually hourly at 50,000. And at 50,000, they said the book is oversized. Now, this is a big deal for Billy because you think about it. All of the work is already done. Uh, and it's all like artwork done by name artists. So he has all the almost all the original artwork, and he is uh, so all the work has already been done. All the expenses for paying for artists to do work has already been done. It's been done for years. So he's going to be able to have a very quick turnaround, like with this book, just as how Graham Nolan with his Joe Frankenstein has such a high turnaround or such a fast turnaround. I should clarify with because. Uh, Graham already did the book. In fact, the only thing that needs to be, need to be done with Joe Frankenstein is what need to be re-lettered. He didn't care for the lettering that IDW did when they manufactured, when they produced the book for him back in the day. Now, and he's made remarks about how they didn't do anything to uh, promote it. And I get the impression from Graham that him and Chuck really didn't make much money off of it. So I'm anticipating that this time uh, they're going to have much more funding and they're may actually I, I anticipate that they're uh, making us much heavier profit printing it themselves than they did with IDW. So I'll be finishing up this video soon and I'll be starting my third time-lapse video of this. When I do the time-lapse video today, I'm going to be working on getting the hobo finished, and I'll probably start up here with the uh, the uh, the outdoor staircase, the fire escape with the ladder. I'll probably start that up today. Um, one thing that you guys may have uh, noticed, when I go lay this 
this down. You see this shadow here, okay? When I'm working with time lapse, since the light's coming up down, what I've done is I've bought a flashlight and I turn the flashlight on and you can see how it, when I have the flashlight on it, now, when I go upwards, you can see now that the, the that shadow is much less. So that's one of the things I do when I'm doing this, these time-lapse videos is I, the camera will be higher up off the paper and the flashlight will be shining down so it's not ca uh, eliminating that cast shadow. So, but that's what I'll be starting next. And uh, I hope that you all will watch the time-lapse videos and I hope that you in turn are, enjoy them and you will uh, like and subscribe so that way you can see all of this progress of the Lost Pages as I'm working on it along with sharing it out so if other people you know who are Lost Pages fans, they can see it. Or just regular people of fans of the Iron Age because that's where we are in comics. This is the Iron Age of comics. I'm very proud to be part of it with uh, taking part in the chat show on Danger Vanessa's channel, which will be on at 7 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time. And doing artwork for books in the fan art contests they provide. So, I hope that you all have a great day. And remember, Life is stressful, and that is why I just take it all one dot at a time.